You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. It was a close call for pigs living in Sonoma County. Fire crews saved the domesticated pigs by stopping the site's fire from overtaking their pen. Some of the firefighters even shared their lunch with the animals. The site's fire continues to burn at more than 19,000 acres, and it's now 30% contained. And one more check of the forecast now with uh, Howie. We've been talking about fire danger, but for right now, heat is the story. Howie, is that right? Dangerous heat, yes, Alan, has moved in. Here we are. The second day of summer, even though we've been seeing these heat waves for a couple good weeks now, we're in our third one for the second day of summer. Here is our Oregon Mountain camera. That's in Trinity County, and that is looking off towards the west, and that is a beautiful sight. Just be getting lots of water if you're out there enjoying it. We're going to have a warmer night tonight. The dangerous heat continues through the weekend. Now, we will see some relief. We will see winds on the uptick a little bit, but it's going to be slight. And we're going to break all of that down. All right, here's our low temperatures for tonight for the most part, saying upper 60s to lower 70s, but that's only going to be a cool off period for a couple hours. So I don't know if this air getting into your place tonight will help you. Now, when you're into the mid 90s and you're dropping into the 50s, that's beautiful. So maybe get some of that cooler air into your place of residence. But then this is what happens again for tomorrow into the 106. 107 range. You go into some of the higher elevations. We're still in the mid to upper 90s, flirting with 100 over there in Weaverville. Okay, why is all this happening? Because high pressure moving right out over the top of us. This is for Saturday, tomorrow evening, where we're going to again see temperatures at 105 to 107 degrees. Now, as some of these storms off towards the northwest get close to this high, this interaction that will spike our winds up a little bit. We could see 15 to 20 mile per hour wind gusts. Now, as the high starts to weaken and move a little bit into the Great Basin, we're going to see the Delta breeze continue to move in, help with our humidity levels on the, on the rise, and help to cool us down a little bit. So the 107s now will come down to maybe 97s and 95s. Again, it's, 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 not, it's a little bit of relief, but we're still above average temperature-wise. We're staying on the hot side for the most part, even into the next weekend. And I say that because we'll continue to be above average temperature-wise. All right, here's the Shasta District Fair. We were at 108 in Anderson today, so that's being generous. But one more day, another hot one. Here is what we have again in the 100s. Maybe for the work week, we're only in the 90s, but still above average temperature-wise. So heat wave number three could continue into the earlier portion of the work week before we get a little tiny bit of relief, Alan. Okay, I'll take it. Thanks, Howie. New at six.